Good morning, world. This is Marianne from the Frog Blog, and it is Tuesday, January 13th. I did that without the calendar. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about these frogs today, of what I found. I figured instead of writing, I'm going to video today because it's early and... Why not video? Everybody likes a video. Okay, here we go. So, if you see, here is, well, my camera setting is on mirror image, so here we go. There's Pole, and Pole has those little bitty legs there, like we said yesterday. Um, today is week number three of having them. We got them on the 23rd, Tuesday 23rd of December. Today is Tuesday the 13th of January. And remember that um, west bed over there in the corner has those legs and they're growing pretty fast. Um, they're a lot more developed than poles as of right now. So I did a little research and I noticed that, or I think based on this research, that once you start seeing the legs, that's the beginning of their metamorphosis, uh, which means that that's good. We're putting them in good conditions. I'm, I'm putting them in good conditions. It looks like it's 80, 82 in there right now, um, which is really good. Let's see if we can see that same temperature on this. Um, yeah, so they're, they're both in agreement. They're a little above 80 in there. So that's really good. Um, anyway, so they say once the frogs start showing signs of legs, then that's the beginning of metamorphosis and that should take about four weeks. So today is week one that I have noticed legs. It might have been earlier. Um, but assuming it's this week, then that'd be one and then we're looking for two, week three, week four. And on week four, that'll be about January, or no, that'll be February. February 13th. And that is right around, you guessed it, Valentine's Day. So these are my Valentine's Day frogs. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, so we should see, I should see a developed frog in there, or pretty close to it by then, if what I read is correct, that we're about four weeks out. <clears throat> um, one other thing that I saw that is going to help, uh, or supposed to help stimulate their metamorphosis is simulating rain. And so I'm going to start pouring a little bit of, um, I'm going to start pouring a little bit of rain, well, water, extra water in their, um, in their, uh, tank every so often. And, uh, hopefully that'll simulate the presence of rain, the rainy season, which is a safe time for them to want to metamorphosize is what they say. Um, because there'll be fresh water coming in there. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I've prepared a little bit of um, water. Just tap water with a dechlorinator slash conditioner in it. And I'm attempting to pick the bucket up with one hand and my hip. <laughs> okay. Mind you, I haven't had breakfast yet, so no coffee. All right. Okay, so here we go. I have this. Actually, they say this is also good because a lot of times, or uh, I mean, water evaporates. Add a little extra water. Okay, guys. All right, 
actually I can't add too much more water because the filter, the top of the filter is supposed to be above the water line. So, okay. so I'll just stop there. And actually I'll probably take out a little bit of water. I added a little too much. And yes, I got this handy dandy <laughs> turkey baster at Walmart. And it's really easy for taking out small amounts of water whenever needed, especially if there's like a floating particle that you don't want in there um, or something like that. And then it comes right out like this. So I'm gonna take out a few of these. Might be taking out all the water I just put in. Nonetheless, it's water movement, you know? That simulates some sort of change in your environment, which is kind of like rain, I think. All right. And there you have it. Okay, now you see that Pole and Westbed are, in fact, happy little frogs. Frog wannabes is what I've seen they're called, huh? Check out later, and we'll be seeing some longer legs, I think.